All right, Pisces, what is up? I'm here to do your collective reading. Uh, welcome to the last day of July. We are also, um, well, before I get to that, I wanted to introduce our newest member of the family. It's another bunny. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. If you guys have any name ideas for her, she's oh, only eight weeks them. old. Oh. Yeah, comment down below if you guys have any ideas for names. She's only eight weeks old. <laughs> and she's so cute. Uh, my daughter said brownie, but that is so classic that, you know. Brownie chocolate. Yeah, I don't know. She's a, she's a lot funny though. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to work with uh, Buns liking her. She's a little jelly. And being a little bit dominant, as we all know she can be. <laughs> but uh, hopefully they get along good. For now, we have to keep them separated though. So if you guys have any ideas, let us know. Drop a comment um, for name ideas. And no. <laughs> I thought about that one too last night. Okay, baby. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Just wanted um, to introduce her to you guys. I didn't know if I made a mistake yesterday by doing that, but after we got her home, she kind of grew on us. So, she's staying. <laughs> okay. So, Pisces, let's get into your reading for today. Um... Mm. I have some information. Today we are, today, tonight, tomorrow. Um, let me see if I still have it pulled up. Hold on. Yeah, I do. Okay, so 15-year, um, This there's some hard changes coming, okay? And the signs that are going to be most affected by this is Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, and Pisces, all right? Lucky us. So um, Uranus, North Node, and Mars are conjuncting starting tomorrow. I think it actually starts tonight, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of conflicting. Anyway, so um, speaking your truth, you know, this is something that hasn't happened for, I don't remember the exact dates. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, it hasn't happened for a fucking long, long time when all three of these, um, conjuncted. Oh yeah, right here was, I don't even know how to read this 180 CE. The next time that this will happen is in 2,357. Does that even sound right? So we're in 2022. Uh, next time it will conjunct is that year. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so this is like a once-in-a-lifetime type of transition. Um, speaking your truth is going to be very significant, even if it causes, it could cause some type of upheavals, um, but speaking your truth, speaking out is very important. So whatever Uranus takes away, uh, your north node will bring it back, okay? So keep that in mind. Um yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. I'm not going to go too in-depth about that. If you guys want to look that up and read about it, um, maybe I can tag the link to what I'm reading here um, in the description box for you guys. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just tag the link, and then you guys can read about it and how it will affect Pisces. It will go through, and depending on your placements, um, you know, if you have Cancer placements, Capricorn placements, or Aries placements, um, yeah, it's it's very significant. So I'll just tag the link in the description box, and then you guys can read about it, okay? All right, Pisces. Let's see. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, let's do a week read. So this is going to be for August 1st, so starting for tomorrow. I'm recording this July 31st, so tomorrow. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. <laughs> okay, Pisces. Y'all that don't know that song, it's from Bone Thugs and Harmony. It's called First of the Month, okay? 
Um, the broom. <laughs> new home, new attitude. What was I saying? Okay. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Okay. It's a brand new motherfucking month tomorrow. This is what we're reading for. So you guys may be moving, relocating. Your attitude may be shifting along with these transits that we're going into. All right. So let's see. Pisces, 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 Pisces. My spicy Pisces. Okay. The wedge. Doggone you, wedge. Okay. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Hmm. What else is new? All right. I hope it's not somebody trying to come in between you, your home, fucking fuck with your moods, your attitude, whatever the hell. Okay, let's see. What else? The pin, new job or career. Okay, so somebody may be trying to like battle some, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting battled, but with that Mars energy that can bring out, you know, some type, you know, anger and shit like that. So just be aware. If you have somebody who's like competing with you at work um, or an animosity, I honestly feel like they're not going to be able to succeed because a wedge is just something, you know, temporary. It's like sticking a wedge. It's like <clears throat> they're trying to come in between it, but uh, you got a new home, new attitude and a new job and career on each side of that. Like, so whatever somebody's trying to come in between you trying to come in between your job, trying to come in between your career, your home, your your attitude, your mood, whatever it is. Someone's someone's trying you, Pisces. Someone's going to draw you. At first you don't succeed. What's that song? Who's that by? I just heard it. And it's, at first you don't succeed, then dust yourself off and try again. Try again. Okay. Hills. Obstacles to overcome. So, yeah. Things... They're just obstacles to overcome, okay? That's how we grow. So I don't really see any threatening energy here. Um, I don't even know if that's a real word, but... All right, Pisces, two more. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So then I say, and then we get the dagger. Um, fear, worries, intense situation. So, yeah, somebody's trying to, like, take a jab at you. Um, I have to say this, and not to worry anybody, but, uh, beware of sharp objects or people with sharp objects. Okay, let's get one more. Somebody here, I don't know, there's going to be some fear, some worry, some tense situations. It's just going to be an obstacle to overcome. Somebody may be trying to come in between something that you want, maybe because you got a, like you got a new like a raise or a promotion or you got a new job and people could be jealous or spiteful or a new home. You could have a new attitude. It's like the new you, <laughs> a new car. All right. Somebody here is trying to like. How annoying. OK. OK. Somebody's jelly. All right. Trying to cause obstacles, trying to stop you from getting something that you want but I feel like you already got it. So jokes on that person. Okay. Let's see one more. And if you don't like physically have it, it's like you already got it in the bag. Okay. But see the Fox shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. You may need to, there's a fox around you, okay? And then we also have the rat and pleasure with a close friend, dog close up, and a rat. Someone is working against you or behind your back, all right? So I think I'm just going to leave it. And yeah, and it could be surrounding your fucking career, all right? Because you, you've grown, increase in material wealth and spiritual growth, great passion. You have a passion for whatever it is that you do. And you're, I didn't even see that one, but the throne, you guys are sitting on your throne and you have great passion, a lot of love with the lily, Okay. And the goldfish. It's like you're leveling up here. Possibly in your career sector, you may be getting a new home because of a promotion or some shit like that. You may be buying a home, um, trying to get finance for something. But this is surrounding your job or, or something that you do. Okay. Oh, spirit. 
angels and guides. God. Universe. Ancestors. And the highest and the most high. Welcome into this reading. Please clarify this energy that Pisces is dealing with. So keep in mind that these messages will not resonate with everyone. So if you're like, if this isn't your story, it's not your story. Don't be, if you know or you suspect, you know, that someone is working against you surrounding this type of whatever we're talking about right now, just know, okay? But if this is something that you don't even see or like, I don't want to say that, but like something that... You're like, uh, don't, don't let it cause like an uproar in your life. Okay. Not every reading is specifically for you. Okay. But it is for someone. So, or, you know, multiple people. Um, yeah. And if you're like chilling, doing your own thing, you own your own business or you're doing whatever. And you're like, no, I got relationship issues, but not really with my job. Okay, the same for you then, probably. Don't don't go out of your way like, oh my God, someone's working against me. Who are you? Is it you? Is it you? Don't do that, okay? Because you could stir up your own shit in your own life, and we don't want that. No, Pisces. Whoa. This could be someone from your past or Capricorn energy with the Six of Cups, or with the Devil card, Six of Cups. And nine of pentacles because someone here is sing single, stable, self-sufficient, self-sufficient. I'm stumbling on my words. All right. Damn, you're such a little devil trying to put it back together. Can't you see that I'm doing better? Damn, you're such a... <laughs> Check that song out. It's on my playlist in the description box. It's a, uh, you're such a, by Haley Steinfeld. Steinfeld. Thank you, sweetheart. She'd be, she'd be like my little computer over there. Not even joking. That little girl got a brain on her. I'm like, which way do we go? When we go places, she's like, mom, you go right. Remember we've been here before. And I'm like, yeah, but that was like five years ago. And you were like five. Like, how do you know? She's like, cause I know. She's like my little GPS. All right. Show me this new home, new attitude for Pisces. Eight of Cups. Pisces energy. What is the Eight of Cups? Walking away from a situation emotionally in search of something better. Could be walking away from like illusions. You have two eights here. Hmm. Goes around, comes around. Infinity. Infinity and beyond. There could be some messages coming in or some type of action, swift action. What is this, Spirit? Tell me more. Dropping these motherfucking burdens. All right. <laughs> You're taking action here to walk away from something emotionally and drop the fucking baggage, drop the burdens. And that's bringing in some type of success in your life. New home, new attitude. Like, I ain't got no baggage. Who do I look like? I'm Pisces. <laughs> I'm Pisces. I don't carry baggage. I carry emotions, baby. <laughs> okay. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Who is this mother? Spirit. Don't let me do it. Who is this person? Who is trying to create? Okay. Could be a fixed sign. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or Taurus. All right. With the Wheel of Fortune here, somebody here. Okay, really? Somebody may know your destiny. Don't be giving out your birth charts, y'all. Don't be telling people, I mean, unless you know that there's someone you can trust, but don't be telling people where you were fucking born, the time of day that you were born, because people will take that information and they will use it against you. Just know. Take it from someone who knows. Okay? Anyways, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Somebody's trying to <laughs> somebody's trying to come in between destiny and an ace of pentacles. Yeah, there's some type of a major. This is like an opportunity or an offer, a windfall of fucking money. 
All right, something here is destined. Something here is faded. The wheel is turning in your favor. This is your reading, Pisces. The wheel is in the upright. Things are turning in your favor, and there's something coming in. You're being blessed. You're being gifted from the universe, from God, from the divine, whoever it is, the creator. All right? And, yeah. Somebody trying to come in between it. This person's being blocked. You may need to stand your ground. Could be a Scorpio. All right? Somebody's trying to put an end to something, but they're blocked. Can't you see I'm doing better? Show me this new job or career. The lover's card in reverse. So Gemini energy, there could be a relationship here that's ending or let me see. I'm also getting, because the Lover's card is about choices, so can be about choices. So um, this is like making a decision. Somebody may be making a decision, you know, to go down a certain career path. The Chariot, Cancerian energy, it's like positive movement forward. Traveling, you may be doing something like some type of transportation uh, business or maybe the chariot can also be a police, you know? So hmm. somebody may be like going to college, you know, to get a degree, go to college to get more knowledge <laughs> or doing something, you know, like leveling up. Somebody, you know, maybe somebody was a security guard and they're like, fuck this. I want, I, I need more money. I need more this, you know, I want things to move forward in my life. So it's like, they're making a choice. The lovers in the reverse is like, if, if you had a choice between two different options, like, oh, I can do this or this. It's like, you're deciding you're no longer with this new job or career. It's like, this is no longer a choice anymore. You made a decision, right? To move something forward from a new job or career. And again, for some, this may be some type of transportation or governmental job with the uh, Queen of Swords. Excuse me, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This can also be, after, if this is relationship and not business related or job or career related, this can also be somebody making a head over heart decision to cut a relationship out or cut off like options. If someone had options, it's like, again, someone's making a decision to move something forward or to travel. Okay. Maybe somebody's getting a new job or, or getting some type of career advancement here and deciding to make a head over heart decision, cutting out somebody, a cancer, Gemini, maybe, I don't know. But somebody here is being honest and truthful, being very analytical, strategic, sharp, not taking no BS. Somebody here is like very, very decisive about a, about a choice being made. Somebody's like, okay, this is what I want. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm doing it and doing it and doing it well. <laughs> okay. Show me this obstacle to overcome. Seven of Pentacles, so, oh shit, Ten of Pentacles. So this could be surrounding money, investments. Maybe somebody's taking a look at like all the time, the energy, the resources, or all the time that was spent investing into a situation. And this could be the obstacle, or maybe somebody's, if this is like love related and somebody's choosing to like go a different direction, somebody may be taking a stock of like what, how much time and energy and what they have invested and how much they got in the bank and how much equity they got in their home or whatever, you know what I mean? So this may be the obstacle to overcome. It may be some type of financial or family situation. Um, show me this obstacle. Again, I feel like this is going to be successful. Oh, shit. Two of cups. Damn. Okay. And the ace of wands. Somebody here is planning. Okay. So whatever this obstacle is, blah, 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 blah. Whatever this obstacle is that somebody needs to overcome, it's surrounding a new beginning, a new passionate start in, in a relationship, in love, okay? 
two people who see eye to eye with one another, putting in that time, that energy, planting good seeds towards a relationship to have a brand new beginning. This is something that is challenging for somebody. Don't know how. If it resonates, it does. If it don't, then let it go. But this is a challenge or an obstacle. Is somebody like planting good seeds, investing into a concrete relationship and having that new beginning? Or maybe somebody needs to like put in the work and that seems hard for somebody, but it's it looks like it's going to be done. Okay, show me this dagger, fear, worries, intense situations. If this reading is resonating, y'all, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot and gets this message out to others. So we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be a younger air sign here who's watching, trying to get some information. This can also be just like paying attention to details, paying attention to the fine print. Huh. This person also has a sword in their fucking hand along with this dagger. So I'm just going to put the obvious out there. If you're dealing with like a younger air sign or something, I don't know. Be careful for sharp objects, okay? Or people with sharp ob objects. Show me the dagger. Ooh, the Empress. What in the actual F? In Five of Cups. Empress in the reverse in Five of Cups. So there could be like a baby mama or a pregnant a Taurus Libra doesn't have to be, but this is like a maternal figure who um, is not abundant, who's off balance. They could be going through some type of depression or sadness, maybe surrounding a child. There could be some fears. If somebody's like having issues with children, this may be causing an imbalance or like maybe some, even if, okay, slow down. If this is, um, if you are the child and your your maternal figure is like not the greatest, okay, with the Empress in the reverse, this may be causing some sadness, some depression, or if you have like an absent mother, there could be like an absent mother who feels sad and depressed, maybe because she was indulging in other shits, okay, with these three cups that are spilled, mourning. This to me looks like there's some type of like fear and worry surrounding like a parent, a parental figure and a child. And it's causing a lot of sadness. There could also be a child who's watching their parent be sad, depressed and like not doing the right thing or overindulging um, drugs, alcohol or something like that. And it's causing a lot of fear, worry. All right, show me this fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Hangman and the devil, damn. Shrewdness. Two of pentacles. So, Capricorn, Pisces energy, and two of pentacles. Somebody may be juggling you, Pisces, or like going back and forth. Do I pick Pisces or Capricorn? Do I pick Pisces or Capricorn? Um, I don't know why this would even be a hard choice though, because it, to me, this is like someone's enlightened and someone is toxic. Like how, how hard is that? Somebody could be going back and forth between somebody who is toxic and somebody who is very enlightened. Be careful also that somebody's not trying to keep you stuck at the two of pentacles, okay? Because the, the devil talks about being bound and chained to something that is not to your highest good. So be careful somebody's not trying to keep you stuck at the two of pentacles, okay? Because this is shrewdness and resourcefulness in business. So, you know, we look at this in a business sense. The two of pentacles is, you know stability, trying to weigh, weigh things out, trying to juggle, trying to rob Peter to pay Paul. There's choppy waters here in the background. Uh, this guy's doing a balancing act, you know, like, um, you know, uh, don't be paying credit cards with credit cards, like that type of shit. Okay. So it's like somebody may be trying to cause some type of
somebody could be trying to keep somebody stuck. It, like I'm getting at a lower vibration, but I feel like you're already enlightened about this situation. So I don't feel like, you know, when you know better, you do better. Okay. So show me this pleasure with the close friend for Pisces. The world could be with someone who is foreign or somebody who lives at a distance. Again, Aquarius, Theo, Scorpio, and Taurus, fixed sign energy. Um, you may also be thinking about traveling or starting a new cycle with somebody here who or having some type of pleasure with it. Okay. Ace of Swords reverse. Buns, get down. Get her down, please. Before she hurts herself. Oh my gosh. So there's some type of lack of clarity here that could be causing somebody to have sleepless nights, feeling betrayed. Tor Taurus, Aquarius. Again, fixed sign energy. Somebody here is losing hope for like some type of higher level of commitment because there's lack of clarity. There's dishonesty. Somebody may be like, okay. If somebody is suspicious, suspecting that somebody is engaging with a close friend, that may be true. Okay. What are you doing? Please don't put her on me. I'm not trying to get her. So if pleasure with a close friend, this could be a close friend at a distance. Like somebody may have a friend, like someone who that they're close to. And this person may be foreign. They may live at a distance. They may travel. They may be well known. Okay. Worldwide or something. Could be a Taurus or Aquarius. But somebody here is losing hope towards having some type of commitment. Or somebody's losing hope in a marriage because of dishonesty. Somebody may be like, somebody may be messing around with some with their with with a friend of theirs. Okay, I don't know who, but whatever. Okay, someone is working against you or behind your back. Page of Wands could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Someone who's younger or someone who's just, you know, very optimistic about life. Or there could be a message coming in. This could be surrounding someone you work with. Eight of Pentacles, or somebody may be sending you a message that they want to put in, put in the work, but this person is a rat. They're working behind your motherfucking back. Yeah, exactly. Five fucking wands. They're trying to create conflict, competition. This person's fucking competing with you. All right. Yeah. If there's a fire sign in particular that comes in wanting to put in the work, they're they're bringing drama. They're working against your back. They're working behind your back, okay? They're not for you. They're against you. So, Pisces, I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonates, let me know. Smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want a personal reading. My information is in the description box below, and I will put that um, link also in the description box. All right, guys, love you so much. Peace.